Oklahoma City, 911. We just went through a tornado at the love. The whole door is gone. This is by far the hardest hit area I have seen in Oklahoma. It was really kind of like a war zone. Okay, is anybody hurt? I don't know. Okay, this is for real. This is a shock. Area. We have several houses damaged. It's hard to tell where the homes were here. You saw all the debris. It's like somebody spray painted mud and leaves over everything. And of course, you never think in your wildest dreams this would ever happen to you. At the end of all the turmoil, you find out who will stand behind you. It's an emotional thing. To see that kind of support happening is awesome. We were truly blessed with all the help we had. In our church, you go up to thank somebody and they say, I, I know you do it for us. And they're right. They're right. We've got all the power. That's what we desire. You're party of the night. You're party of the night. We own the night. You're party of the night. It's redemption for everyone. You've got to sell your soul. No difference in the human race. The underworld is now in our control. Your party of the night. You will not drown out the voice of the people. People. 130 Negroes were thrown alive into the sea. I wish I could remember all their names. My 20,000 ghosts. When one thinks about the life of William Wilberforce, one thinks about the life of John Newton. Newton was writing about himself, the grace that saved a wretch like me. He was a former slave ship captain himself. He had reached the lowest point in his life. I might as well be dead. That's the point of it. God Almighty has set before me two great objects, the suppression of the slave trade and the reformation of manners. The slave trade has 300 MPs in its pocket, but you could do it. Later that year, Wilberforce brought a motion to the House of Commons for the abolition of the slave trade. The movement had found its champion. Amazing grace. The stone of Enlight appeared during the formation of the world. Whoever possessed the stone knew nothing but hope, wonder, and strength, able to take on any foe or challenge. But over time, people sought the stone not for personal growth or advancement of the world, but for ill motives and evil doings. So the stone hid itself away, waiting for one who would be pure of heart. <coughs> then one day, centuries later, a young man named Jesse should heed its call. Cool. To the west, he would ride on his mighty steed, Percival. Lord Percival. Okay, cut. Are we on?